actually, uh, uh, so this can be Thanks for listening. And the way that it happened was I was actually in my shop, I'd be working on some jewelry and I'd go take a walk with my dogs and I'd find these shards, a few of them, just remote locations. The day that I went out to work, this wasn't in the case, it was just on the, on the desk. I would hold the shard, imagine what the big pot looked like, how big it was, and put it down and start working. I did this for a number of weeks. Then one day in February of 2007, and keep in mind my shop was real remote, there was nobody around, it was real peaceful. So one day in February 2007, I was sitting at the bench and I was holding that shard in my hand and I was getting ready to work. And I was getting ready to set the shard down, but I heard this voice. It was just like I'm speaking to you. It wasn't a voice in my head. I thought somebody was in the shop. This voice said, make it into jewelry. And I knew where it came from. I looked up, I said, <laughs> I, said I can't do that. The butterfly is representative of four broken pottery shard pieces which are coming together to form a new creation. Uh, the idea in the Akuma uh, culture is that uh, broken pottery is never seen as an end to anything but the beginning of something new. So within all my work is those type of ideas that come through to create something new. And the butterfly is just one example of that.